Ever wondered if you could turn those old pixelated videos into crystal clear 4K masterpieces? Or have you ever faced the frustration of shaky, blurry, or just plain low quality videos? How about your images? If you're like me and generate a lot of images with mid-journey or other AI tools, then you'll certainly like how these images can be enhanced and upscaled to give you that extra clarity and professional look. No more blurry or pixelated images. With this tool, you can enhance your AI-generated images by up to four times their original size, even up to an incredible 10K resolution. The tool that I am using is called VideoProc AI. It has three features, which are exceptionally good. The first thing is the super resolution, which enhances the quality of videos and images by upscaling and restoring them with well-trained AI models. The second is the frame interpolation, which is kind of like magic because it adds new frames between two frames to smoothen motions. The third one, which is a game changer for shaky videos, is called stabilization. So let me show you how to download this for free. The first step is to go to videoproc.com and download it by clicking on this button here. After you've installed the VideoProc Converter AI, this window should pop up. Let's jump right in and try out the upscaler. The images I use are mostly generated by Midjourney. You can do this with any image online, just save it and drag and drop it inside of VideoProc Converter. It's as simple as that. Now to upscale your images and get even better results, make sure you choose the right settings up here. Where it says type, you can choose between reality or anime. These are two different AI models that are better for different types of images and videos. In this case, this image is more of a realistic one, so I choose the reality option. Just below it down here, we can choose how much we want to upscale our image. We can upscale by up to four times in this example. You can also choose to enhance it by 1x if you already have a great image and only want to kind of sharpen it. I tried it with this image and it actually turned it into a better quality while reducing the size. This is great if you have a website. The images will load faster for the viewer while still maintaining a higher quality. This leads to a better ranking in Google for your website. At the bottom we can change the image format between PNG and JPEG. And just beneath it is the output folder option. This is where you will find your upscaled media files. Now just click on this big blue button that says run and the AI does the rest. I had uploaded two images and it upscales both of them for me. Now let's see how they turned out. So this is the original image. Now this is how it looks when upscaled 2x. This is 3x and this is 4x. Let's zoom in a little bit and see a better comparison. Here is his shirt and the feathers on it after the upscale. And here is the before. As you can notice, there is a huge difference. Let's try it with another image. Let's go with this image of a woman wearing pink and holding a drink at a bar. Here are the results. When I zoom in on the clothes, I notice a huge difference. Look at the lines and the shadows. It looks much clearer, and you can feel the texture of the clothes. The AI has not only enhanced the quality, but also the texture of the materials in our image. It has even removed some of the artifacts. Now let's look at how it did with the face. So just remember that this image is originally created by Midjourney, which is an AI image generator. We can clearly see that the original image has a lower resolution. It's noticeable around her eyes, nose, and lips. The white part of her eyes also turned brighter after the upscale, which is great for the image. Let's switch to some cartoony images and try the anime model. Let's try it out with this colorful image of a train with a lot of objects and details in the background. Now the process is the same, all I need to change here is the type of model. I'll switch it to anime for this image. We also have the denoise option here. There isn't that much noise in this image so I don't need to activate it. Let's click on this button here for a better view of the difference. Now look at that, isn't that incredible? Just look at the colors and lines. This feels like an entirely new image but in a good way. I always feel like I don't need to upscale my images or videos until I do upscale them. The difference in quality makes a huge difference. If you're printing your images or illustrations, you need to upscale them, otherwise your print will just look bad. Let's see how good the anime model is at faces. I have this image here with a similar style as the image before. Here I have three different faces, so let's zoom in and compare the upscaled image with the original one. You start to notice the difference more when you zoom in. Before it looked kind of washed out and pixelated. Look at her eyes and the red colors in the face. See the difference in the upscaled version, how everything looks much better with clear edges. This is ready to be printed now and would make a great poster. If you like this video so far, make sure you let me know and hit the subscribe button. That's the best way to support this channel. Now if you like what you've seen so far, this is going to blow your mind. Because I haven't yet shown you what this tool can do with videos. 
I will also cover the frame interpolation and the stabilization features, which is as important as the upscaling one. So here I have an animated version of the famous 300. You can check out that video on my channel. What I appreciate about Videoproc Subscaler is that it remains faithful to the original footage, a feature many similar tools struggle with, which is important if you're working on a serious project. Madness. This is Sparta! <laughs> so when you upload a video, the options are pretty similar. Choose the type of model, how much you want to upscale it by. In this case, the video can be upscaled by up to three times. The reason the 4X is grayed out is because the original video already has a high dimension and the quality can be improved by three times. Then we have the de-interlacing option down here. Only activate this if your video needs to be de-interlaced. Here is a video showing an interlaced video and its effect. You can have this with some older footage sometimes and this is how you can remove it. Now that you know how to upscale videos, let's move on to the last two incredible features. The first one is frame interpolation. Just click on this button in the middle that says frame interpolation to start and upload your videos. Now let me show you quickly how this works. So I have this video of a beautiful orange flower. The problem with this video is that it has 24 FPS, which means 24 frames per second and that makes it a bit choppy for the eye. Instead, we can increase the frames per second by letting the AI create new frames in between. So the first option is to skip scene changes. This can be worth checking if your video has a lot of motion and camera movement. In our case, the camera is stable and probably stands on a tripod. And below it is where we choose by how many times we want to multiply the FPS. You can also do a slow motion effect and choose how slow you want the video to be. Let's switch back to inserting frames and go with 5x right there. This will turn our video from 24 FPS to 120 FPS. Enough talking, and let's see the magic. So I will start it off with the choppy original video. Now let's see if you can notice where I switch it to the new video. I hope you notice the difference. Because the video is much smoother and has a soft motion to it, this is incredible when you think about that 80% of this video is generated by AI. Because we increased the FPS by 5x, and it means that Videoproc created 4 frames for us for every frame the original video had. Isn't that crazy? Here is another video. The new view on the right is much smoother, and it's very obvious if you look at the sky when the camera is turning. As I said before, most people don't know the importance of upscaling until they've tried it. Now I promise to show you three game-changing features, so let's end it with the stabilization tool. The name is pretty self-explanatory. This helps you with saving shaky footage. Just imagine you've recorded something great, but your hands were shaking. Now just drag and drop it inside this tool and it will fix it for you. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the same footage. You'll find the link to this tool in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.